All right, Jenna, we appreciate uh, Jenna. I'm sorry. <laughs> Danielle I was just talking to Jenna. We appreciate that. And of course, we'll have a look at your traffic a little bit later in the newscast. All right. Yesterday we talked about a document that was posted on Facebook by a teacher group in South Carolina, SC for Ed, that listed out all of the vacant teaching positions across the state. Well, today we are checking again with those numbers to make sure that they're still accurate. Our Emily Carell has the story. It's, it's disheartening, it's disillusioning. Um, we need good teachers. It doesn't seem like there's a replacement strategy. It doesn't seem um, as if the state just really understands um, kind of how dire the situation is. I mean, it's terrible. I have a lot of friends that went to school to be teachers um, and they ended up choosing a different route. A lot of them went back to school. They're working in the service industry. It doesn't pay enough. It's no secret that teacher shortages are an issue across the country. Yesterday, we covered a spreadsheet teacher group SC for Ed published listing individual school districts number of vacancies. After Richland 1 was listed with the highest number of vacancies in the state, we found the number collected from the district website wasn't correct, but still second highest at 137. Today, we wanted to clarify the actual number of vacancies in the districts in Lexington and Richland counties. We looked at the websites to see vacancies listed and checked the information published on the SC for Ed document, as well as checking with the individual districts. We found most numbers did not match. Of the six districts we checked, Lexington District 3 was the only accurate count, listing zero vacancies. Apart from the issue of correct data, as of today, SC for Ed reported just over 1,400 vacancies across the state. Richland 1, with the second highest number only behind Charleston, told us, as you know, districts in South Carolina and across the country continue to deal with teacher shortages. Despite that, we have plans to ensure that students continue to receive quality instruction. Any adjustments, if necessary, would vary by school, grade level, or subject or content. SC for Ed plans to update the list every week until September. Board member Lisa Ellis told us so far none of the districts have reached out to them via email or phone. Teacher recruitment is still underway for these districts and numbers are expected to change as the new school year approaches. I'm Emily Carell, News 19 WLTX.